I will take you on a tour of the prehistoric sites known as Sankawi or Sankawi. They are a section of the Bandelier National Monument northeast of Santa Fe, New Mexico. The ruins are those of ancestral Pueblo people who built a village atop a two-level mesa during the 1400s and occupied it until the late 1500s. They lived in a sparse, arid environment, living atop the mesa and tending crops in the valleys below. This sketch shows the one and a half mile loop trail to the top of the mesa and back down. There are three ladders involved, but you use the first one again in the end. Note the two levels of the mesa. The plants in the area are typical of pinyon juniper woodlands. Along the trail are junipers, pinyon, rabbit brush, yucca, salt brush, mountain mahogany and other plants. The first ladder. It was sturdier than it looked. The lower level of the mesa was easy walking. Now the hiking became more challenging. Over many years, the ancestral people, barefoot or wearing sandals, wore paths into the rock. They must have been smaller than people today. I found it awkward walking in the narrow paths having to put one foot in front of the other rather than using an ordinary walking stride. You can see the second ladder I was heading toward. There were many petroglyphs, images carved into the rocks at the site, just as many are found throughout the Southwest. I had to darken the images and increase the contrast so you could make out the images more clearly. The petroglyphs are of human figures, animals, and various symbols. Back in the 1400s, it may have been possible to grow crops atop the mesa, but it was most likely they made use of the valleys for farming. Corn, beans, and squash were the principal crops of the Puebloan people. The dwellers also must have felt secure living atop the mesa. The mesa would have been an excellent defensive position. In the valley to the northeast are the remains of a home and school built by Madame Vera von Blumenthal and her friend Rose Dugan in 1918. They wanted to help local people make commercially saleable pottery. Research shows that the ruins and rubble in these photos indicate that the settlement atop the mesa had about 350 rooms. It may have been two or three stories tall in places. It was rectangular in shape and enclosed a large central courtyard or plaza. The rooms were constructed of blocks of tuff, spelled T-U-F-F, -F, which is volcanic ash, and shaped using harder stones. Mud was used as mortar. Walls were plastered with mud inside and out. Shards placed on these big rocks by visitors, I assume. I'm sure archaeologists would have preferred the shards had been left in place. San Cabri was occupied until the late 1500s. Tree rings show evidence of a prolonged drought in the area in the late 1500s. That, together with depletion of soil nutrients after generations of growing crops in the same fields, may have caused the occupants of San Cabri to leave. These low walls apparently held a small reservoir. Water draining from rooftops could have been collected in this structure. The occupants of San Cui had a spectacular view of the valleys and mountains in the area. To the west are the Jemez Mountains, to the east the Sangre de Cristo, Blood of Christ Mountains, to the south are the Sandia Mountains. Here is the third ladder. More of the narrow footpaths. The 
cliffs made of tuff were easy to carve into for making caves, but the caves often had small buildings constructed of talus, the loose stones at the base of cliffs, at the entrance to the caves. The cliffs had hand or toehold trails cut into them. Today, these stairways have been damaged from too many visitors climbing them. The park wants you to stay on the trails. More vistas of the valleys below and the mountains in the distance. More footpaths on the lower level of the mesa. More petroglyphs. One rock had an easily discernible spiral and a human figure. The path back to the starting point. You can see mountains in the background, caves carved out of the rocks, and many places where large chunks of the side of the mesa have fallen down. And here we go back down the first ladder. <laughs> 